For Mac users, the great thing about LibreOffice is that it is basically the same as the versions for other operating systems. If you also use Windows or a Linux distro, the Office Suite will have the same features and applications. The Mac version, however, has differences from the Windows and Linux versions. This video, from OS College, gives an overview of these differences. First, here are what it has in common with the other versions. LibreOffice is composed of six applications and a document manager, called Start Center. Writer is the word processor that allows you to do simple things like write a letter but also do things like create complex book and document layouts. Calc is a spreadsheet that has most of the capabilities that Microsoft Excel has and many that it does not. It has more than 400 formulas and, like Excel, it has numerous chart types that can be generated from data in a spreadsheet. It is designed with various types of professionals in mind, from tax preparers to scientists. Impress is the presentation application that is views for the presentation, notes, outlines, and a few others. It also has numerous drawing and animation tools. Draw can create anything from simple sketches to complex technical drawings. They can stand alone or support documents created by the previously mentioned applications. It integrates well with Writer, Calc, and Impress. Base is a relational database application that gives users the ability to create a database in Firebird or HSQL, and it can be used as a front-end for multiple types of enterprise databases running on servers. Math is a formula editor that allows you to write complex mathematical formulas and insert them in any document. It is a standalone application, but it also can be evoked from Writer, Calc, Impress, and Draw. Mac users, like users of other desktop systems, can use any one of these applications. All of the features are available, regardless of what operating system LibreOffice is being run on. One difference Mac users will experience is the LibreOffice menu. It contains items that are in other menus in other operating systems. The menu contains preferences, which launches the options dialog. In other operating systems options is launched by clicking options in the tools menu. The about LibreOffice is in the help menu in Windows and Linux distros. Another difference Mac users will experience is lack of icons. In Windows and Linux distros, there are individual items and icons for the Start Center in each of the six applications. Mac users only have the icon for the Start Center. Documents for specific applications can be created through the right-click menu of the icon when it is in the dock. OS College has created a video about this right-click menu. Despite these minor differences, the Mac version of LibreOffice is the same as versions on other operating systems. Users should feel comfortable using it, even if they are jumping from system to system. This video has been an overview of the Mac version of LibreOffice. Thank you for watching. To learn more about LibreOffice watch the other videos on this channel or social media page. The OS College website also has more videos and articles about it.